Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ugo Iduma and in today's video, I have a special guest as you can all see here. He's a fitness coach and I will let him introduce himself. Hi guys, my name is Samson. I run a fitness page on IG, fitness underscore week underscore Samson. We actually a lot of fitness tips from workout to swimming workout to a lot of health information that will do you good. So in today's video, we'll be doing a simple Q&A. I'll be asking him questions and he'll just be giving us answers. So these are some questions that some people have asked and he will just be giving us tips and advice on how to tackle all those problems. So bear in mind, these are real life problems and he's going to give us real life tips. But before we get to those tips, we'd like to know a little bit of something. And our first question for him is, what is your fitness philosophy? What's your view towards fitness? Thank you very much. Um, I view fitness, I see fitness as a lifestyle. It's more than the workout, it's more than the diet. It's just something that is part and parcel of me. I just have to stay active because it makes me feel alive. That's just it for me. I like to keep it simple. Yeah. So on the note of keeping it simple, you also stated to me that fitness is simple. And what are the ways you've been able to keep it simple? And what do you mean by actually keeping fitness simple? Because some of us think fitness is complicated, you know. Alright, thank you very much. So keeping fitness simple in my context means doing something I enjoy, something that is sustainable. So most of my workouts are HIIT and I swim a lot. And that's what I enjoy doing and I've been able to stick with it for months, for years now. So that's what gets it done for me. I'm seeing results with it and I don't think I want to stop anytime soon. <laughs> what workout regimen do you do to help you keep fit? I know you mentioned HIIT, I know you also mentioned swimming, but can you just give like a rundown of workout regimen the male viewers can do, considering you're a male, they could do or you do? All right, uh, thank you very much. There is no one size fit all in fitness. You need to discover what works for you. If strength training is what you like doing, stick with it. If body weight is what you like doing, stick with it. It's just for you to find something that is sustainable, something you like doing. For me, I keep it simple, HIIT and swimming, it does it for me. It could, yours could be boxing, yours could be kickboxing, yours could be running, whatever it is. Just ensure it's something you can stick to even when you achieve your fitness goals. Just keep it simple. So, coming down to our real life questions, one of the questions that was asked is, the question was that she's being active and eating healthy and doing all the work required but she's not seeing any change or any skill changes so what kind of tips or what kind of advice would you give that kind of person all right um it's a simple one don't let the number on the scale be a yardstick to track your fitness progress check your energy levels check your clothes sizes take measurements your abs guards your chest guards your hips your arms those are what the skills will not tell you. Check your energy levels. Do you pass when you climb the steps before, but now you do it effortlessly? That's how to track it. You feel it's small progress, yeah? But I tell you, progress is progress. Just get committed to the process. Enjoy what you're doing. And on the long run, when you want to do the cumulative evaluation, you would have made huge progress. And that's just it. So the next question I have is concerning a client who has actually done the work and has been able to lose sufficient amount of weight but has um, loose skin and wants to burn fat and lose body fat okay okay that's fine so for this client you need to incorporate strength training into your workout regimen so don't let uh, the fitness meet of looking bulky scare you out it actually doesn't make you look bulky it helps you tone up it makes you look sharp and for the record Strength training also help your bone health. You have stronger bones and you look great. You look sharp, you look toned of your, the lagging skin will just firm up. And that's why you should include strength training into your workout regimen. Nothing serious at all. And consistency. Be patient in no time, you see your progress. So the tip concerning the strength training, does this tip also apply to women or is it just for males? Can women also strength train? Definitely, women can strength train. And that's how they tone up their muscles. They can strength train. It's not something specific to the to the to the male folks alone. Women can strength train. Do your thing. Keep it simple. Turn up your muscle. Lift. Enjoy. Have fun. So now, 
women that do think that lifting weights and strength training will make them bulky and lose and look like a man is that true because i strength train and i don't feel bulky and i don't feel like i look like a man but some women can't say they don't and they cannot strength train because strength training will make them look masculine so what's your opinion on that it's a fitness myth for women to think that they can get bulky via strength training you don't have the male hormone testosterone in large quantities so there's no way you can go bulky for it to really go that way you need to be on something extra steroids it's the only thing is strength training is going to do for you is just make your muscles tighter make it tone and make it firm what will give you that bikini body body just keep it simple not to see your lightweight so our next question is um, a client who has been eating healthy but hasn't been seeing any changes so what kind of advice would you give to such a client that's fine um there's something about eating healthy i like to throw stones throw stones at so eating healthy doesn't give you the ability to pack up healthy foods in large quantities so you're not eating four or five chicken breasts eating healthy doesn't mean you need to go in buckets of food you need to still pay close attention to your portions, to the sizes. Because eating healthy in large quantities means tons of calories into your body. And if you don't do anything about these calories you're taking in, they score up as fat. And that could be a major, a major reason why she's not getting progress. You're eating a lot of healthy food so much. And it's, you, that means so much of calories in your body. When you don't do anything about it, it stores up as fat. And that's just a simple fix for it. Thank you so much. So our final question to ask you is where do we get to find you? Anyone or anyone viewing, how do they come across you? Where do they go to find you? Um I'm based in Lagos and my honest underscore with underscore something. My phone number is also there. Just feel free. My DM is very, very spacious. Just do well to drop your messages and we can just talk. Let's get started. So if you're within the Lagos area and you're looking for somebody to coach you and to train you and to like be a physique transformation coach for you, Samson is the guy to do it for you. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you were able to get your questions answered and I hope you were able to learn a few things from this because from all I've been able to gather from what you said is all about keeping it simple, not complex, keeping your portions in check. Yeah keeping it patient too and consistent and most of all keeping it sustainable i hope i was able to get all the tips yes and i was paying good attention so from here thank you so much for watching thank you so much for liking and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next week tuesday bye guys